Hello there, my name is Dr Gemma Newman and I'm a GP based in West London. Today I'd like to give you a few great tips to improve your general health and prevent a variety of problems. This video is for those of you who want to know how to prevent wrinkles. Now wrinkles are a natural process of ageing but there are a few things that you can do to improve your health and minimise your risk of wrinkling too early. Now uh, the genes responsible for collagen production can become mutated by sun damage so you guessed it the most obvious piece of advice I'm going to give you today is please protect your skin from the sun. Do try to avoid burning and use a daily moisturiser which contains at least an SPF 15 to protect your skin. Having said that, if you do have a darker skin tone, it will be important that you don't stay out of the sun completely because you will need to have sun exposure on your skin to make vitamin D. What else can I say about sun exposure? Sunglasses will be important too. Sunglasses will protect the sensitive skin around your eyes from the sun, but they will also prevent you from squinting, which can cause wrinkling. Smoking is another big problem for your skin. Smoking, unfortunately, damages the collagen around your face, and the direct action of pursing your lips to take a drag on your cigarette will also cause you direct wrinkles around the mouth. So it would be important for you to stop smoking if you want to have a healthy skin with less wrinkles. Keep your skin well hydrated, drink plenty of water. This is going to be good for your overall complexion as well as reducing your chance of wrinkling. Eating healthy food rich in antioxidants is also going to nourish your skin. So plenty of vegetables, plenty of fruit, unprocessed foods, berries, nuts, olive oil, um, oily fish, spinach, broccoli, curly kale, you name it, all those natural unprocessed foods are going to be great for your skin and reduce the chance of any gene mutations associated with ageing. Exercising will keep your skin supple and uh, generally keep you looking toned. Although I would say it's probably a good idea to avoid sudden weight loss because that can cause sagging of the skin. Now sleep lines may turn into wrinkles so sleeping on your back may help to reduce that. Twin studies have shown that People who are depressed or have been divorced appear subjectively older than their married or widowed counterparts. So an optimistic and laid back approach is going to be good, both in terms of improving your mood, but also hoping, hopefully helping you to care less about the wrinkles that you do have. Now I personally think that laughter lines are a sign of a life well lived and they're much better than having a permanent frown. So as I said, having a positive outlook is going to help you as well. 